Good evening once again. I'm Stephanie Rule, coming to you live from our nation's capital. Dominion Voting Systems has dropped the latest bombshell in its $1.6 billion defamation suit against Fox News. Dominion's new court filing includes testimony under oath from the Fox chairman himself, Rupert Murdoch, who admitted some Fox News hosts endorsed lies of a stolen 2020 election. In response to direct questions about Maria Bartiromo, Janine Pirro, Lou Dobbs, and Sean Hannity, Murdoch responded saying this, quote, yes, they endorsed. But Murdoch rejected the idea that Fox News as a whole bought into the election fraud lie, lie saying this, not Fox, no, not Fox. Earlier today, former Senator Claire McCaskill had this reaction to Murdoch's testimony. He's trying to say, oh, these were commentators. In other words, this was opinion. Opinion is saying, you know, Russia had the right to, to, to declare war against Ukraine. Lying is saying there's no war in Ukraine. Opinion is saying Donald Trump is a good president. Lying is saying the election was fraudulent. Commentators do have the right to go a little further, but it is not, they don't have the right to lie. A little further means getting a little sassy, not telling bald face lies. In just a few minutes, we'll be speaking to former Mueller investigation prosecutor Andrew Weissman about today's filing. Meanwhile, President Biden is working hard to ramp up his domestic agenda after his trip to Ukraine. This week, holding strategy sessions with Democrats in the House and Senate, today Biden sent out this warning about House Republicans and budget cuts. Quote, it is not just your Social Security that may hang in the balance. It's your health care, too. And tonight, the president said Democrats need to do more to message their accomplishments. We have to, first of all, let people know what we've done, even in your communities. They don't know all that we've done. We have to make it clear. We've got to talk about it, spread the word, defend our progress, finish the job. The White House is also fighting back against House GOP investigations. NPR reports they have created a, quote, war room to handle all the inquiries.